it's Zoe and today I'm going to be talking about my October TBR. Now if you follow me on social media you'll know that September has been a terrible reading month for me. I only finished one book entirely and the last hundred pages or so of another book and I'm halfway through another one which is a terrible reading month for me. However I think I'm starting to come out of my slump. I'm getting used to being back at work now and finding more reading time and finding time to film again so I think I can have a more ambitious September TBR. September. No, October TBR. I think it'll be okay though because September is almost September. I keep saying September. No, October. October is mostly a month of rereads for me in preparation for new books coming out. So with that, let's get into this TBR. The first book that I want to read in October is Strange the Dreamer by Lainey Taylor. I'm going to try to read this within the first two days of October so I can be all caught up for Muse of Nightmares, which is the sequel, and I think that comes out on October 2nd, if I'm not mistaken. Strange the Dreamer follows a boy named Laszlo Strange, who has always been obsessed with the city of Weep. 200 years before the events of this book, something happened to change Weep forever. It got cut off from the rest of the world, and most people just forgot about it. But like I said, Laszlo has always been obsessed, and he is presented with the opportunity to go to Weep and find out more about about it. However, he doesn't only find answers in Weep, he finds more questions. Like, who is this blue-skinned goddess that he is dreaming about, and why did he start dreaming about her before he ever knew that she existed? And if this guy called the God Slayer killed all of these gods, first of all, who are the gods, then why do the gods seem so real right now? I read this last year, not long after it came out, and this is one of my favorite books, and Muse of Nightmares is one of my most anticipated upcoming releases. I cannot wait. I know it's going to be fantastic. I love her other series, Daughter of Smoke and Bone, and I just, oh, I'm so excited to get into this one again and Muse of Nightmares. I really should be reading some of the arcs that I have for October that are going to be coming out mid-October, but on October 23rd, hands down, my most anticipated release for this entire year is coming out, and I need to reread the entire series to catch up and remember all of the little details. The first book for that reread is The Assassin's Blade by Sarah J. Mass. Yes, it's Throne of Glass that I need to reread. I am so excited. I cannot wait. The Assassin's Blade is a collection of five prequel novellas set at various points before the first Throne of Glass book. I wouldn't recommend reading this before you get into the series because it gives a lot away. I think it was originally published after the third book and that's when I read it and it cleared up everything so much. You don't have to read it, but everything, especially in Tower of Dawn, the most recent release, makes so much more sense if you read these novellas. After the Assassin's Blade comes Throne of Glass, the first in the series. This follows Selena Sardothian, who is an assassin who gets freed from prison to compete in a tournament to become the king's champion. The other books in this series are Crown of Midnight, Heir of Fire, Queen of Shadows, Empire of Storms, and Tower of Dawn. The next book is Kingdom of Ash, like I said, it comes out October 23rd, and I cannot wait. It's the last book in the series. I know already it's going to be so bittersweet. It's going to be absolutely perfect, but one of my favorite series is ending. So all of those books are ones that I am going to make time for 100% in October. I have to finish them before I get to Kingdom of Ash, and I would like to read Kingdom of Ash right when it comes out. So hopefully I actually get them done before that day. If not, I want to finish all of them in October. I have one other book that I have to read in October, which is Clockwork Prince by Cassandra Clare, the second book in the Infernal Devices trilogy, which I am reading with my friend Karis from the blog Browsing for Books. We buddy read Clockwork Angel in September, and Clockwork Prince is October's book, and then Clockwork Princess we're going to be reading in November. I don't have it yet, but I'm gonna get it sometime within the next week. Hopefully I'll finish all of these books on time when I would like to, which means I would have about a week left in October for any other reading, but I'm going to leave that week open for whatever I feel like at that time, because I don't know if I'm going to be in a reading slump or not after I finish Kingdom of Ash. There's a very good chance that I will be in the depths of despair that the series is over and I won't be able to pick up a book for another week. Who knows? With that, we have come to the end of my October TBR. Let me know down in the comments what you're planning on reading next month as well. As always, to stay updated with my current reads and how I'm feeling about them, you can follow me on 
Instagram, Twitter, and Goodreads, all at your book nerd Zoe, which I will leave linked down below in the description box. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe, and I hope you all have a wonderful day and get at least a little bit of uninterrupted reading time. I'll see you in the next video. Bye! If you wanna be my lover,